Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Happy January Favorites Month. I love favorites. I think they're such a fun video to watch, so I always enjoy filming them. This is the first favorites for the month of 2016, so that's always exciting. And even more exciting, I have awesome things to talk about. So let's stop the chit chat and get right into these favorites. The first product is the Stila Convertible Lip color. These are a dual lip and cheek product and they are cream based. I picked these up on Outlook when Stila was doing a big sale on their website and I think that was back in maybe early December or even end of November. They always have a very limited supply on the Outlook sale so it's not everything out of the Stila line but I've always wanted to try these and they had a couple colors so I picked these two. It's always hard to match a color online because the colors are always a little off. So I got the shade Magnolia and Tulip. I thought Magnolia would be a great cream dupe for the Tarte Exposed Blush and this one would just be a nice little pink flush to the skin. I got these in the mail and I thought, oh crap, I was so way off as far as what would work for me. These are so pigmented and I mean, this is a bright color. Let me just show you. Hello, that's bright. And then I'll show you Magnolia, and that's Magnolia. I, I was so mad because I just wasted my money, even if they were on sale. What am I gonna do with something like this? This is not for a fair person. I was wrong. I love this formula. With creams, it can be a little hard because sometimes they're sticky and too tacky and they stay that way and they just kind of look greasy on the cheeks. So I didn't know what to expect. I knew a lot of good things were said about these products, but again, everybody's different. It's all very subjective when it comes to makeup. I can't stop using these products, especially Magnolia. I wear this almost every single day. I can't get enough of it. These blend out like a dream on your cheeks and they don't go this full force of color. I dip my finger in like once and then I pat it on the cheek and I build it up. Gorgeous, gorgeous products. I'm so happy I got these and I highly recommend checking these out if you haven't already. I know I was very late in the game with these, but I'm so happy I had these in my collection. The next favorite is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. I picked this up way back when it launched um, in L'Oreal's collection. I can't remember, I think it was maybe the summer or, yeah, I think it was about the spring or summertime. I loved it, I used it up, it's gone, I repurchased. And I fell in love with this all over again. Long story short about my brows, I don't have any. These aren't real. It's all an illusion. It's a makeup illusion. I don't have brows. I have very sparse. They're just missing a lot of areas. And I always have to fill in. I mean, if I'm not wearing makeup, I don't. I don't care. It's fine. I'll look like a monster. Whatever. But when I want to fill in my brows, I always use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's my favorite. And I top it off with this. <gasps> oh, I, I just... Nothing else compares. I've used so many brow products and I loved some of the stuff I used, but now that I have this perfect marriage of brows, I can't use anything else. This is the perfect size wand. It's similar to maybe the um, Benefit Give Me Brow Wand. I've never owned that, so I can't speak to that, but this, I don't need to look any further. It's perfect. It doesn't you know, provide too much product on the wand when you take it out of the packaging. It's the perfect amount of product so you're not gonna get globs and all that grossness in your brows. And it is tinted so it adds a little bit of color but I just brush it through after I fill in. It adds beautiful texture. It makes them look fluffy and more natural, not like I just drew them on with a Sharpie. I'm all about full brows, shaped brows, not overly, overly defined. I mean, I definitely like my defined brows, but I want them to look real. And this gives that illusion of, these are my brows, people, and maybe I just define the tail a little bit. None of this is real. And I can't, I'll just go on and on about this product, so I should probably shut up, but it's my favorite product. These next two products are not cheap, however, but I did have some gift certificates from Sephora that I got for Christmas and also my birthday's in January, so I got one for my birthday and I always use gift certificates towards things that I've been wanting for so long but maybe haven't pulled the trigger on getting it because it has a heftier price tag. 
the Hourglass Ambient Lining Powder has finally come into my life. So many people have talked about these. I can't believe I'm pretty much the last person on the face of the earth to have one, but I, I just had to get one and I picked up the Ethereal Light Shade. And actually now that I own one, in retrospect, these aren't that expensive because one, it's gorgeous. I know everybody and their mama is talking about this product, so you don't need to hear too much about it from me. I picked up Ethereal Light because I wanted something to set my under eyes with, and this is a perfect shade. All the other shades didn't excite me too much, but this one I wanted so bad, and I'm so glad I picked it up because I've used it every single day. I got it the very end of December, like right after Christmas, I ordered it because I already knew I wanted it. And I've been using it nonstop every day to set my under eyes. I have it on today for my under eyes and it's gorgeous. I, you know, you're probably not going to see. It looks just plain white, but when it's on the skin, it brightens. It just looks so nice. It sets my under eyes perfectly. I, I'm so happy I finally have this. And I don't know about the other products, but all that hype, it definitely didn't disappoint for me, and I love this thing. It's not so expensive either when you think about it. I don't think I'll ever go through this sucker. I haven't put a dent in it, and I'm using it every single day. The next product is a Becca product. This is their new, um, what are these called? The Backlight Targeted Color Correctors. They came out with four color correctors, a red, peach, green, and a purple. Yeah, and a purple. These are color correctors for hyperpigmentation, dark circles, that kind of thing, redness. And I picked up the peach shade. I wanted something to counteract that blueness, that darkness that I get in the inner corners under my eyes. And I've used so many other things, but never a true corrector. And I thought, uh, I'm gonna get this because it looks delicious and I hope it works and it does. This it's on me today. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy I picked it up. It's done such a nice job of correcting and just allowing my eyes to be brighter. And for whatever reason, putting this on, putting my concealer on top, it just lasts longer. I don't know what it is. It sets up as like a nice primer too for your under eyes. At least for me, my under eyes stay put as far as you know, color and brightness all day. I love this stuff. Next are some brushes. I picked up a new brush set. Oh my gosh. These are from the brand. I'm going to put these brushes down because my hands are small and I can't carry everything. This is from the brand Party Queen. I can do a dedicated video of each brush talking about them in detail. If you want, let me know in the comments below. So I'm just kind of kind of whiz through and tell you a little bit about them and why I love them. First thing, the set is a 15 piece set. It came in this gorgeous, like a leather, faux leather, obviously, um, pouch, little clutch that all the brushes fit inside. You know, even the long ones, they just lie down in there and they don't get squished or disturbed. So that's nice to have for travel. And you can use it actually as like a little purse, like a clutch going out. Loved that, I thought that that was awesome. And they have, you know, a little booklet that you, you know, talks about each of the brushes and that kind of thing. I was drawn to this for a number of reasons. One being this, this is the tapered face brush. I use this for blush. It's like a tulip type of brush. Oh, it's perfect. I love it so much. Also, there's a dual fiber one. I love this for doing my contour. Gorgeous. There's just so many unique brushes. This is not so unique, but it's just like a perfect brush to powder your face. This is a large fluff brush, which, oh my gosh, you can use this for your under eyes. You can use this for, you know, setting primer on your lid. Absolutely gorgeous brushes inexpensive for how many you get in this collection. I'll leave a link down below so if you want to check it out, but let me know if you want me to do a full dedicated video. And the last favorite is a brush cleaner. I have to clean all these dirty brushes and that is from Cinema Secrets. I've heard a lot of good things about this brush cleaner and I thought I would pick it up. I got the Pro Starter Kit. So that gave me a little tin. This is to pour the actual cleaner in there and then you swirl your brushes around and you can clean right in this little guy. And I thought that's really good for travel. Say you're on vacation and you only take a couple brushes and you need to clean them in between. 
I don't know if you need to do that, but um, it's nice to have. It's a nice little handy thing. So and it also came with obviously the cleaner and you get eight fluid ounces in this sucker. I clean my brushes all the time, deep cleaning them in the sink kind of thing with a shampoo, conditioner, or even Dawn dish detergent is a great alternative to any expensive type of soaps, but I can't always clean them every single day. They have to dry when you do a deep cleaning and I wear makeup almost every day or if I'm working on clients, I have to clean all my brushes in between my clients. This is the best cleaner hands down I've ever used. It's, everyone says it smells like vanilla. I don't really get the vanilla smell. It still has a chemical cleaner kind of smell, but it's not as bad as others and I can handle this scent. So I definitely recommend this product. I wouldn't recommend using it solely as your only cleaner. Definitely make sure to deep clean your brushes as well, but this is a great little spot cleaner. And that was it for my favorites. I had so many awesome things. I didn't even have that much, but I think I just talked about them forever. At least it seems that way. But let me know what you've been loving for the month of January in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you like favorites videos and you like this one, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you know where that button lives. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.